Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to root an Android device using our website. Okay, so before you begin, I suggest you brush up on some of the terminology that we use here in the glossary by clicking on that. Uh, and then also going here to learn a bit more about rooting, why we root, the benefits of rooting, um, and all that stuff. Once you're done with those two sections, then you can come back here and you'll have a good understanding of what we're about to do. Okay, so after you do that, you're going to uh, first head to our Android how to section by clicking on this link right here. And when you get there, you're going to look for your manufacturer, uh, whoever that may be, then click on that, and then look for your specific device. This is going to be the fastest way for us to get root because you can click on any of these and be presented with all of the procedures on how to root that device. So you're going to look for the one that says how to root your device, for example here, click on that, do that procedure, uh, and then you're rooted. Now if you don't see your device there, then you should head to this section number two uh, and click here to click on all of our universal rooting procedures. So so there are a few universal methods for rooting devices, and they, uh, they're not as good as the ones that we have that are for specific devices, but if you, we don't have a procedure for your specific device, then this is the next best thing. Scroll down, you'll see there's one here, how to gain us off uh, using revolutionary. There's also the Z4 root method, the rage method, the super one-click method. Um, try any of these and see if it will work for your device. The cool thing about these procedures is that um, the programs that are being used will automatically kick off and, and turn themselves off if your device doesn't work. So there's no real harm in trying. So I'd try that out. And finally, if after that you still don't have root access, click on this link here to be taken to our Contact Us form and let us know what device you have and uh, the issue that you're having. And we'll get to work on getting a rooting procedure for that specific device ASAP. Okay, then after you're all done finally rooting your device, the next thing you're probably going to want to do is load a custom ROM. So click on this link here to be taken to our how to load a custom ROM on an Android device procedure. Follow this procedure and then you'll be all set and then you're ready to play around uh, by flashing different ROMs uh, and hacking your phone, changing whatever you want and all of the fun stuff that comes along with that. Okay, after you've done all that, you should be rooted and running a custom ROM. Uh, and there are other things that you can also do with your newly rooted Android device. So to find out what those things are, head over to our Android Tips and Tricks section by clicking on this link here. Uh, and enjoy uh, taking advantage of your newfound freedom.